My name's Lisa, and I was just guided to do a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy reading, this Divine Love, Twin Flame, Soulmate, whatever you resonate with. Um, I was just told to, to get these four decks and to get... Um, these are my Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine cards, so we're going to pull them as such. And the other two decks, I'm supposed to get one and use the, those cards as the connection. So first card, let's get for Divine Feminine Energy. I am connected with Gaia. So a lot of grounding energy here spending time with nature look my connections with my guides is strengthening so you may find yourself meditating more and if you're not this is your time to do it um yeah spirit really wants to get closer with you many of you are just beginning to rely like really it's like your level of understanding your faith it the way you understand your faith is changing so they're saying to get outside get outside this will help you stabilize there's a lot of shifts happening amongst the collective right now and what we're moving towards or what you're being led to is towards unwavering unwavering faith i'm hearing the words dignity and respect okay and here's for Divine Masculine, I'm confronting those around me. So I'm hearing standing up for themselves. And just know these can go for both of you. You can resonate on either side because all of us have a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy within us. And my belief is that As we heal, we bring our Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine within us into a balance, which helps us to better understand like our emotions and handle our emotions, our reactions, how we give and receive. All right. I want me to get one more of these. Yeah, Spirit is helping me. Okay, so both of you are deepening your trust and faith in this power greater than yourself. I call him God. You can call him whatever you want. But both of you are doing this. Look, I love you. This is your message to each other. The love, the love is, is there. The love is going nowhere that's what i heard all right give me one card here for the connection emotions are high yeah and that's because there's been so many changes okay um but price prosperity lies ahead this is um this is new moon and taurus i saw the 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 bull so this is about um i'm i'm hearing this is a time to really be focused on healing your emotions, steadying your emotions, okay? Uh, I feel like whatever lessons have been happening, um, because they're showing me like it's been like a domino effect, like one thing happened and then boom, 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 all these other things came crashing down, okay? And I feel like this has happened on both sides, but um, it's been for the highest good of, of all, right? But it hasn't all felt... 
delicious is the word that they gave me. Um, yeah, stay optimistic and here's a wedding. So some of you may be uh, married to your person or both of you are married to other people or one of you is or something like that. Okay, this is, um, I feel like there's a There's something surround. You could have been married to each other in a past life, okay? Something like that. This is also I'm getting like a traditions. Uh, like there's something about traditions breaking down here, okay? It's like being cut free from you know, traditions. What the traditional way, whatever it is. It's like it, yeah, I'm hearing being cut loose. From the traditional way so there's something here about either stepping outside of your comfort zones I feel like both of you are okay um, as you investigate that's what I'm hearing like as you investigate it's like your future on your own positive thinking and faith will bring you romance I'm getting this energy here. It's like if you're connected to the, if you're like married to this person or in a relationship with this person, um, cause I'm also getting this energy. It's like these two people do not know. Like, it's like you haven't met. Okay. And they're also saying when you meet again, it's as if you're completely new. It's like, you will not, you no longer know each other. Okay. And I feel like this is after whatever has been, crashing down this like domino effect that's happened it's like from wh wherever you started with your person when you run into each other today or however you show up in each other's lives today it's like you're completely different from the person that your person met however long ago when you guys first encountered each other so um Yeah, it is a very emotional time, okay? I feel like both are very focused on finance. There's a lot of things happening on, on the work front. Yeah, see? And the end of a t tough cycle approaches. Yes, I feel like both sides here, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, are closing out a very tough cycle here of life yeah see because here's this um, Capricorn and Capricorn is this type of goat and I think it's the goat which goat stands for greatest of all time. I'm getting that too, but I'm, there's something here about like, and I'm not sure if this is like the Ram, if I'm getting it confused with Aries, but there's, there, there could be something connection here with like Aries and Capricorn. Okay. And I feel like more than anything, it could be you and your person, but, but you guys know how I feel about signs. I feel like we all have all signs in our natal charts. Right. And so if it feels right for you, just watch it, you know, whether it's your birth sign or not. Okay. But I feel like this is, very, there's something about like being strategic and planning. Um, maybe some of you are starting businesses or <sighs> I'm hearing like rerouted. Something's being rerouted. So it's not like that it's over or finished. It's like, it's just being like, it's like you have to do it a different way. And then I, I'm hearing another song. I took the long, take the long way home. Like somebody takes a long way home. Okay. Give me one more card here for the collective. Believe in the impossible. A blue moon. Once in a blue moon. 
I'm reminded of the Smurfs, so I don't know. The Smurfs might, that might mean something to you. There's like, that Smurfs movie was like based around that, um, there was a connection with the blue moon. Okay. There's something about the Smurfs. So I don't know if you're like into the Smurfs or something like that, but then, um, this says conclusions are within reach. So I feel like there's a conversation or you're headed towards a conversation. You're headed towards, um, yeah, look, see, look, th this is conclusions are within reach, right? And because I feel like there's still a lot, like you don't have all the pieces, you know, to answer all the questions that you have in your head. This says, nothing will come of this situation. It's, there's certain, I feel like there's been part of this domino effect came with the realization that something's never going to change. Like, this is how it is. And I feel like there's been an acceptance with that but this is also part of what you're still healing from okay you could have even been in uh, hermit mode or be in hermit mode at this at the time at right now you know at the time that you're watching this but then this says after that it's like this new romantic cycle begins and it says new moon in Libra, but see the scales. It's like, there's going to be equal give and take. So whether this is like a rekindling or for a lot of you, I feel like this is, you're meeting someone completely brand new. And, um, but just because the energy feels brand new, I also want you to know, like, it could be like this rekindling because I feel like there's some people here that are married, married couples. And like, it's like, you've had to get to know each other all over again. It's like, it's like nobody can be fake. It's like the gloves are off. Like it's like it's like as raw as it could be. And I feel like neither one of you signed up for this. You know, whatever has been trans transferring or transpiring within your connection over the last few years, it's like it's significantly changed from the beginning and all the lovey-dovey stuff it's it's completely different you you've you've hit milestones you've overcome a lot together yeah it's there there's something here it's like they're just showing me a mountain i'm hearing the words friendship it's like you're more like best friends and maybe it's like because people grow together it's like i feel like there's still a tremendous amount of love between the two of you You have a lot of love and admiration for your person but i feel like there's some people that have just grown apart and i just want to like burst into tears like somebody is very emotional over this and it's like one person's headed one way and the other person's headed another way and this could be part of like what this realization is you know this awareness that it is what it is but it's like once you this is why this this um this time right now yeah is for like to get it like go with the ebb and flow that's what i'm hearing go so just go with ease take care of yourself mother yourself that's also what this um i'm connected with gaia card card is about um, there could be some issues with your mother or um, this is just about loving and nurturing yourself because uh, this inner child healing, you know, um, that's transpired. I mean, me, I keep pictures of myself when I was little, you know, and I just love that girl. I love that girl. And... Um, She endured a lot of pain. 
and uh, I'm amazed by her. And I feel like I'm not the only one experiencing this healing from the trauma of childhood and it's releasing it in peace. You know, it's, it's realizing forgiveness isn't about forgiving people so that, you know, your relationship can mend. It's, it's just more about forgiving so that you yourself can just let go and move on. I also feel like these childhood wounds, whatever is being overcome or whatever is being looked at, it's like this is part of this um, nothing will come of this situation. It's like you're realizing that, you know, maybe something like, like this person is never going to take responsibility for this. Like no matter what, this person is never going to own up to their behavior. This person is just not where I want to be anymore. And I don't feel like this is just with, like, I don't feel like this awareness is just coming with your partner. It feels like more like family, friends, maybe work, work partners. You could even be realizing that you're never going to go any further than where you're at, at your job. And you're just like, do I really want to be doing this for the rest of my life? Like, what are they giving to me? I'm giving all my heart and soul. And what am I really getting back? Is it worth what I'm sacrificing? And I feel like a lot of you are realizing no. Yeah. I'm hearing that song. I love me more. Yeah. But I love me more. Yeah. Anyway, this is really beautiful. We're still in this healing phase. Continue to be kind to yourself. You know, bubble baths I recommend. Salt baths. Um, sitting by candlelight. You know, whatever you got to do. Um, go get your toes done. Get a pedicure. Even if you're a guy, like, pedicures are just fucking amazing. <laughs> um, but whatever way you can love and nurture yourself, that's what we're being guided to do and to really continue to do as we, because I feel like the more that we give to ourselves and connect with God, spirit, the universe, whatever you want to fill in there, the more information you're going to receive on your next steps. So things may look like you don't really know where you're going. And since I started my channel, I've been saying six inch view. We get a six inch view to our future as to where we're headed. And um, that's why it's so important to appreciate where you're at, you know, um, do what's in front of you to do. And then, you know, when you start getting whirly again, this is going to sound a little bit nuts to some of you, but this is something that I have used for over 20 years and it still to this day calms me down because life still happens. It doesn't mean like just because um, I've been using these tools or whatever, I've just had more practice at using them than when I first started. But when I first started, um, you know, diving deep within myself and just towards my independence, you know, things were just overwhelming. And, and um, 
somebody told me to look down at my feet and I was just like what the fuck you know like I was walking and talking to her on my phone and this is my Maureen that I always talk about you to you guys about and I'm like I have bags of groceries hanging from my arm my son is like hanging on my hip I'm like talking to her and I'm opening up my door I'm freaking out because I think like my mom was coming over and my house was a mess and she, and she I just knew you know she was gonna freaking just make me feel like a piece of crap because my house was a mess and um, I wanted to keep it clean and, or get it cleaned up and I just I didn't have enough time I didn't have enough time to like do everything and um, she was like look down at your feet and I was just like what the fuck like what and I, I was, she was like, are you doing it? And I was like, yes, I'm, I'm doing it. I have enough respect for her to actually do whatever she asked me to do because that's how much I just believed in this woman. And I looked down at my feet and I just didn't know. She's like, where are you? I said, I'm standing in my door doorway, you know, about to go into my house. And I have like, you know, all these things. And I told her and she goes, okay, now, now take a deep breath and look up and just do what's in front of you to do and the next time you get whirly you look down at your feet again you take a deep breath you look up and do what's in front of you to do and that's it and you can do that fifty a hundred times in a day and if you forget I'm here to remind you or tell somebody else so that they can remind you you know so Anyway, there you go, guys. I promise, wherever you think you're at, you're not doing nearly as bad as you think you are. Life is really great. And when I start to feel like a little bit like it's not, I write down a gratitude list every day. So you may want to start doing something like that. I feel like some people need that. And, um, Yeah, so you might want to try that out and uh, make a gratitude list because gratitude is fucking magic. I love you guys. Bye.